Fume hoods and by safety cabinets are required in almost all lab settings. They have to meet strict end-user specifications to guarantee safety and provide a controlled environment for experiments. In this video, we will break down the most common types of ventilation solutions by their end-user application, construction materials, ventilation mechanism, and the types of substances that can be handled inside. Hi, I'm Pavel with One Point Solutions, the end-to-end -end provider of laboratory furniture design, manufacturing, and installation. We offer short lead times, competitive pricing and products that are made here in the USA, and partner with top industry brands like LabConco to design and install your ideal ventilation setup. So what industries need ventilation? Well, chemistry and biology labs almost always contain few points or by safety cabinets. Handling toxic vapors from chemical experiments or manipulating biological samples requires protection of both the user and the samples. However, dental, pharmaceutical, medical, food processing and many other industries may require ventilation solutions that go beyond standard configurations and that can be tailored specifically to an end user. For example, educational and demonstration hoods are more transparent than typical designs and there are also custom safety glass configurations for manipulating nanoparticles or a microscope or completely floor-mounted hoods for accommodating even larger equipment. On the opposite end of spectrum are portable solutions, like exhaust snorkel arms, that remove fumes, sparks and dust. Now let's discuss the construction materials. Typical fume hoods have powder-coated steel bodies, tempered safety glass sashes, chemical-resistant panel liners and ventilation mechanisms. Depending on the kind of work being done, you may need specific countertop and liner materials. Stainless steel countertops are typically used for biological applications due to their antimicrobial properties, while phenolic or epoxy resins are best for handling chemicals. Liner materials include chemical-resistant fiberglass reinforced composite, PVC or stainless steel, depending on the workflow. Fume hoods can be mounted on the base cabinets, may include sinks, various service fixtures, have adjustable legs and removable panels for wiring and plumbing. Depending on configuration, Fume hood assembly is typically done prior to installation on site to free up time for checkups. Let's talk about ventilation. Airflow, safety and filtration are important for users and manufacturers. Ductless or filtered fume hoods or by safety cabinets, as the name suggests, do not rely on external ventilation and use different filter types to trap chemicals or particulates. While being more cost efficient than traditional fume hoods, they require filter maintenance. Conversely, hard ducted versions need to be integrated into existing HVAC infrastructure. Airflow monitoring systems can be added to hoods and cabinets to ensure safe handling and reduce costs. Handling chemical or biological substances requires following considerations. For sterile environments, stainless steel countertops accommodate routine cleaning protocols in addition to UV lamps and negative pressure design helps with personnel protection. Labs handling corrosive chemicals require phenolic or epoxy countertops that prevent spillage and specific carbon filters. However, simpler use cases would only need small footprint workstations and enclosures. If you are unsure about what kind of ventilation setup you need, we can schedule a consultation with one of our experts. We understand that the choice of the specific ventilation equipment is guided by your laboratory's workflow, your safety requirements, and available infrastructure and space. So we're prepared to work with you and find a solution made directly for you. Hit the like button if you liked this video and if you found it helpful, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.